Okay, hello and welcome to this video in which we'll construct a priming experiment in SuperLab. The experiment that we're going to create uh, is this one here where you see and hear a French word followed by an English lexical decision task. Let me just hit play and show you how it works. Uh, first there's an instruction screen saying that on the following screens you will see different kinds of words. First you will see a plus sign, after that you will briefly see and hear a French word, after that you will see a word that might be a real word of English, and your task is to determine whether it is a real word of English. Press W if it is a word, press N if, it is, if it's not a word, and do this as fast as you can. Press any key to continue, I'm pressing space. Okay, uh, UF is not a word. Uh, page, page, actually, yeah. Word. Not a word. Not a word, but if I hit word, so W, I get the negative feedback. Okay, uh, that's it. I want to cancel the experiment, and I want to recreate this thing here with you. So three blocks, instructions, experiment, end. So just a goodbye message really. Uh, here in the trials we have instruction trials, primed word trials, unprimed word trials, and non-word trials. Uh, and then some goodbye message. And here in the events where well, we have the instructions, we have a fixation cross that is used by all uh, three experimental trials. Then each of these three here corresponds to uh, three events uh, per trial. Yeah? So when I see a primed word uh, followed by an English word um, that shows me the fixation cross, then a French prime like uh, quoi, together with the sound. Yeah? And then, of course, I'm shown the English word that I or I'm supposed to respond to like money. Okay, and for unprimed words, I also see the fixation cross, then a non-prime, non-prime sound together with it, and then an unprimed word. And for the non-words, I get non-primed, uh, non-prime words in French. The yeah, the the letters, the sounds to go with it, and then the non-word like you of or gehef, something like that. There's also wrong and correct feedback uh, and a goodbye message. Okay, so quite quite a lot of things to design here. Let's get started and try to do this. So in the Super Lab menu, I go to New, uh, which opens a new file. I select the mouse or touch screen as input, make it a little bigger. And first of all, let's save this. We'll save this on my desktop as a French priming ban. Okay, three blocks, I remember those. Uh, intro, okay, experiment. Trials here we have also intro <clears throat> prime prime words and prime words and non words and then finally a goodbye message. Okay, in the events, we have the intro event, and we might as well do that right away. Oh, hello. Uh, I'm going to make this short, right? So, W for words, N for non words, and you can elaborate on this and make it nice in your own version. Um, as far as input, after any response from the participant, uh, this event is over. Okay, then for 
the primed words. Well, okay, let's first of all connect the different intro events with one another. Okay, so now intro, the intro trial is connected with the intro event. The intro block is connected with the intro trial. Okay, back to events. For the primed words, we need um, an event that we'll call French word prime. Okay, it's going to be text uh, from a list, and we'll deal with that list in a moment. Bear with me. Okay, here it is, French word prime. Then we need another event that's called uh, French sound prime, and that would be audio. Yeah. And uh, English prime word text. And we'll list, and we'll deal with the list in a moment. Okay, one thing I've forgotten here is the fixation cross. Let's add that. Fixation cross text, just a plus, and I want this on for uh, a thousand milliseconds. So one second, you know, uh, we'll ignore whatever input the participant may, uh, may have here. So this will stay on for a second and then it will move on. Okay, and of course we want the fixation cross as the first thing in any given trial. So we'll move it up right between intro and the three events here. Okay, uh, so primed words. When I select this, I want this happening, this, this, and this. Okay, let's do the same for the unprimed words. So. Um, <clears throat> Select events, French word of non prime. Okay, then corresponding sound, French sound non prime. Okay, then then Okay, so when this is happening, unprimed words, this trial, I want the fixation cross and these three. Yeah, which leaves only the non words, and here we'll start with French uh, word. Like this French word, non word, uh, bit silly, but okay. Oops. Okay, I don't want it here, I want it here, of course. So this will be deleted. Highlight events, then do French word, non word. Mm -hmm. And then French sound, non word. Okay, and when this comes up, fixation cross and these three. Okay, after that, goodbye message. <clears throat> okay, that'll do. And then you remember I had feedback for uh, correct and incorrect responses. Let's just fill this in. Correct audio. And here we select a file. See in the session two folder that you have also there's a sound file that's called correct. I'm going to select that. Bam. Uh, we won't look for a participant input while audio is playing. Let's play this just to make sure it's there. 
Okay, that sounds good. Okay, and then we'll do the same, well, almost the same for wrong. Wrong audio file, and then we select the wrong file. Okay, here it is. Well, okay. So the structure of the experiment is all there. Um, now we still need to connect it in the right way and fill it with life a little bit. So, um, right, for all of these different types of trials and events, we need, okay, let me connect the good buys. Okay, that's done. Save in regular intervals so you don't lose your stuff. Right, uh, for all these different events, we need, um, yeah, words and also sounds to go with the words. So let's start with the uh, uh, French word primes. Here, um, we've said we would use text and I want to have text from a list. Uh, you can click on create list to make that, but you can also go to this tab here of the general menu experiment and create stimulus lists and that's what we're going to do and we're going to need six lists of words also French primes uh, French non primes French uh, non word trials and then the English primed words the English unprimed words and the English non words and uh, in your session 2 folder you actually have an Excel spreadsheet with those six lists so the French primes and the English primed words those go together so the French primes are the words coin, chat, pain, four, read, says, lit and pays and you notice that they're actually interlexical homographs so coin is a French word but it's also an English word and the English interpretation coin primes the English word money okay there's a semantic relation between coin and money and uh, chat, well, uh, the English interpretation of chat primes talk. Pain primes hurt. Pain doesn't prime hurt too much. Uh, four doesn't have anything to do with five, but four has a lot to do with five. So you see how these two lists are related. Uh, with the non primes and unprimed words, there's no semantic relation. Yeah. So the French non primes, chien. Uh, that's not an English word in any possible way and so there's no semantic relation between chien and sale and with this last category here um, well here we have non-words so they don't have meaning there can't be any semantic relation between say couloir and uh, sop okay so this is where, where you get the words and you can just take several at the same time and copy and paste them into Superlab. So you mark them up with um, <coughs> uh, the keys on your keyboard and then uh, say command and C to copy them and then go back to Superlab. There we are. And uh, create a stimulus list Calling this uh, French primes. And here we have coin, chat, pain, fou, and so on and so forth. Click OK. There it is. Another one. <clears throat> English, oops. English primed words. And here we need these guys. Paste. Okay. Then <clears throat> French non primes. Here. And 
to go with that. There, two more. <clears throat> I'm calling these French uh, non oh, yeah, French filler, okay? Because these are really filler files. And you see, um, the fillers, we have just as many fillers as we have so called critical trials, okay? So the primed and non primed real words are critical trials and the Fillers are what well, fillers? Here we go. And then, lastly, English non words. Okay, so we're done. And now we can associate these events with the respective lists. So I'm going to double click on French word prime, select text chosen from a list, and lo and behold, here these lists come up and I can select the right one, French primes. I'm going to click right uh, to the English primed words, text chosen from a list, English primed words. French word non prime. Words. We'll deal with the sounds in just a second, okay? Be patient. Uh, text chosen English unprimed. French filler. French filler, that sounds almost tasty. Um, Oh no, that's the sounds. English non word. There we go. Okay. And you see, now that we've connected these trials with lists, the icons have changed a little bit. So I'm going to save here just to be safe. Okay, what about those sounds? Yeah, we also want uh, sounds to go with this. So let me show you where these sounds are. So they're in uh, three folders here. So prime sounds, these here, and French non-primes, and French non-primes too. Okay, those are the folders with our sounds. And we can create lists for these sounds just in the same way as we did for the words. So go back to experiment and stimulus lists. And now we're going to create audio lists. Um, okay, I'm going to French primes. And here you can add a folder where we select prime sounds from session two. Here we are. That's the right ones. Okay. Okay, the name must be unique. Um, so I'm going to call this French Prime Sounds. Happy now? Yeah, happy now. Another one, audio. So this will be French non Prime Sounds. Again, I'm looking for folder. It's going to be the first one. Chien, Natal, Maison, and so on and so forth. Okay. And then the last one. French color sounds. That folder. French non primes too. See, this one has 16 elements, not just 8. Okay. Ooh, here we go. Right, so now it kind of gets interesting. I'm saving. <clears throat> um, right, so let, let's look at the events in the priming trials. 
We have the fixation cross, looks like this, stays on for a thousand milliseconds. That's good. Uh, then we have the French word prime coming from our list, so point, chardin, and so on and so forth. And we want this on, um, okay, here it says after any response from the participant, but we want this to be presented at the same time as the sound, okay? And the sound, if you look at this, it's coming right after the, the word prime. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say end this event and move to the next one immediately after the event is presented. Uh, this doesn't mean that the word will disappear from the screen. It's just um, the sound will come on and the screen will remain the same until we uh, call another visual stimulus. Okay, so let's click on OK Next. Here's the sound prime. Stimulus. Oops, no, that's. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Now we can associate the list with uh, this event. French prime sounds, that's exactly what we want. And we want to move on after. Now we want uh, the experiment to move on immediately after the event is presented. So as soon as you've heard the voice, we move on. To the English word. Okay, and the English word comes here. Um, yeah, uh, so the English prime words are the things that you see money, talk, hurt, and so on and so forth. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <clears throat> after a response from the participant, we move on. And also, uh, here we want to reset the reaction time timer. So all future reaction times are measured relative to the onset of this event. So as soon as the English word or non-word comes on, the timer is running. Now, this one here actually has a correct response. Um, and uh, we still need to tell the experiment what keys can be pressed for responses. So let's do that. Uh, that can be done also here under experiment participant input. We want to use the, uh, not the mouse, but the keyboard. So deselect mouse, uh, select keyboard, single keys. Um, okay, and now we can define responses. And uh, one response name will be word, and that response consists of pressing the key W. Okay, uh, another one, non-word, consists of pressing the key N. Right, we're done. And now, double-click on English Prime Words and uh, associate all the items here with responses. So for money, the correct response is word. For talk, word. That's kind of boring. It's the same for everything here. But in the other conditions, the other trials, uh, there will be other correct and incorrect responses. There we go. That looks good. Okay. French word non-prime. We want this to move on immediately after the present the event after the present is evented after the event is presented. Um, the sound we need to associate with audio. A list, and here we have the non-prime sounds. Okay. And this immediately after the event is presented. Okay, and then the unprimed word. Stimulus, those are now well, these English words, sale, page, keys. And the input, yeah, uh, we want this event to end after the participant has 
pushed a key and the correct response. Okay, here also, since these are words, for all of them, the correct response is a word. Okay, last uh, group of events here. Right, uh, the French fillers. The sounds. Okay, the last time we need to select an audio. Okay. Here it says look for participant input while audio is playing. I'm going to deselect that uh, because it might give us uh, some trouble. We want to, this to end immediately after the event is presented. Okay, uh, let me do the deselecting also for the other sounds. So, no, don't look for participant input. You also don't look for participant input. Right. Uh, English non words. <clears throat> input. Okay, the participant can click a key. And here, of course, non word is the correct answer. And this is something that we need to select 16 times. Any of you finds a way to do this automatically or in a more efficient way than I do this right now, please let me know. Almost done. Okay, Bam. now, last thing that we need to do, or maybe, yeah, well, let's save. And you know what, I'm feeling adventurous, so I'm going to start, well, I'm going to try this out to see if it works. Okay. Yeah. That looks good. Okay, looks nice. But uh, if you've paid attention, you notice that there's no randomization just yet. We just uh, went through all of the priming trials. <clears throat> and of course, there's no uh, feedback just yet. And maybe we should uh, implement the feedback before we move on. So with the English primed words, there's a feedback. If the response is correct, uh, then we present an event, namely, correct. Okay. Uh, if the response is not correct, so this is really a bit tricky, so you have to select it and highlight it, and then click on present event, uh, wrong. Okay, that should work. For the unprimed words, we'll select the two and highlight correct and say present event correct. If this is not correct, then present event 
long. And you can hide unused conditions if you like that. And then the non words. Well, that worked. Present event worked. Present event wrong. Okay. I'm going to save this and see if it plays out in the way I want it to. Oh. Oops. So you see, it's not moving on. That means there's there's something that I need to address. Um, yes. And probably it's here. Uh, so, um, okay. What makes the experiment freeze at this point is it wants some kind of response from the participant. Uh, so after you hear the ping from the correct thing, it expects another key press from the keyboard. If we deselect that, okay, and say immediately after the event is presented, that should be fixed. Wrong, same thing. Okay, I'm gonna save, have another go. Oh, nice. Okay, I'm gonna press the wrong key. Oh, no. Okay, so something is still not quite right, but all in all, we're not doing too. Uh, we're actually quite good. Okay, correct. This looks okay. Ah, okay. This looks for our participant input. Deselected that now. Okay, now it should work. Now it should work. Save. Try. Okay, I'm going to press N, which is wrong. Okay, good. <laughs> Your favorite participant. Yes, I want to cancel. Okay, we're almost done. Uh, really. The last thing that we need to do is to randomize. So that's something that you do in the block uh, field. And in the experiment block, you randomize, randomize the trials and randomize stimulus list items across trials. Okay, and now saving. And I think there is still one thing that we need to fix but let's try it out and uh, discover it. Why isn't it randomizing? It's not randomizing. Okay, maybe. Yeah, okay. What I did was I didn't associate experiment with these three trials. Okay, stupidity. Uh, this is embarrassing. Okay, since we're almost done, um, I'm going to press pause here and try to figure this out. 
And um, yeah, <clears throat> I might come back, I might not. If not, then uh, you can try your hand at this yourself and see if you can get this to work. Um, okay. Okay, guys, I just found out what uh, was wrong. So this was all right, yeah? But it turned out the intro block was uh, paired with primed words, and that, of course, is not what we want. So I don't know why that was the case. So hopefully, now should, now we should. Oh, okay. Okay, so the filler words are somehow, uh, there's a problem with the French primes. And uh, let me show you where the problem lies. So for that, we need to go to the French sound non words. And here we have, um, see this little, this little uh, pen icon here allows you to edit the list. And uh, in the folders, I numbered all the sound files from 1 to 16. And you see here, uh, Superlab thinks that 1, 0 is, uh, comes earlier than just 1P, okay? Because numbers come before letters, and so 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, 1, P, 2C, that is good alphabetical order for Superlab. You, we can fix this. You know, click on Vash and send it down. She means the le sleep means the empty. Okay, okay, save, and now everything should be fine. Okay, that looks good. So that's it, a French priming experiment in Superlab. Um, okay, see you next time.